Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical today. I am bringing you this is a heroic uh, Queen Onsorok. So, really want the mount from here. Also, I kind of come came up with the build for fist weaving. So, I am gonna be fist weaving this time around. I'm gonna try to also explain the mechanics as we go. So, the casting pools here, you just kind of want to dodge the green uh, circles here. And I'm also playing Master of Harmony. So, whenever I have uh, Thunder Focus T and Belt Mist, I kind of try to extend those hots uh, with kicks as much as I can, right? Because Rising Mist is just absolutely insane in my opinion and then these green circles right here just don't stand in them like or you want to stand in them just don't hit the center because you're going to detonate it so just chill out um i put normally this is when i put my hots out here throwing belt mist out and then what i do is i roll mid air and then try to dodge any sort any circle of revival here trying to recover because it seems like people may have gotten hit and we got some stacks i'm gonna cocoon this uh we might be, actually be okay i'm gonna put as many hots as i can out and i'm gonna thunder focus t kick Throwing a belt mist out here. Kick again. I need to put some hots out here too. Um, and I'm going to kick one more time. And then during this uh, mechanic, you want to just use Tiger's Lust here. So I Tiger's Lust this route. Nothing crazy. Just Tiger's Lust it. But I need to get some more belt mist out, I think. I need to get some belt mist, renewing mist here. I have Thunder Focus T kick. So that's what I'm going to do. Kick. And I'm going to Chigi here. Kick again. Throw an belt mist out. Toxin's on me. I'm going to try to get close to melee here. Four pro. Should be okay. Good. Kick. I'm going to stand right here. Manatee during this. I get hots. Good. Roll. Dash. Mid air. Kick. Extend any hots and put out our hots. Dodge these green, uh, I don't know what they're called. What are they? Puddles. Green. Green things, I guess. And I have Thunder Focus T kick, so I'm going to just kick as much as I can here. Uh, try to get Renewing Mist out. Always have Renewing Mist recharging. And again, I think Rising Mist is like the best spell that Mist Weavers have. I swear, it's like one of the best spells in the game. I, I don't know how, how it is, what it is. But I just kick off cooldown, put my hots out. I have a Expel Harm, so I'm going to just use it. Not a lot of damage going out right now, so I'm going to Tiger's Lust after the Shrew goes out. Tiger's Lust, hots here, Instant Vivify. Um, I have Chi-G right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Chi-G, Thunder Focus T, Kick into an Envelope Mist, into another Kick. And we should be okay. We actually phase them. We do enough damage. That's really good. Um, my hots are looking pretty solid here. So I should be able to just chill. So we're going to put our Renewing Mist out. You want to make sure that you don't get pulled into the boss. So just stand as far away. Roll backwards if you have to. Um, it is kind of awkward because you have to be kind of close to the boss to do damage. So try not to, try not to, try to run between these waves of goo. And then when they do the pull, which is... I actually don't know the timer on it right now. Five seconds. Um, just stay far away. It's not worth dying for extra damage. So, um, yeah, we're just going to put a hot out here. Vivify is here. Um, I'm over here. Yeah. So we phased her. So, oh, dodge these. So two adds are going to spawn. You just want to kill them, pretty much. Uh, interrupt them on the Shadow Blast. Dodge the orbs, uh, unless you're bad like me. So, that's fun. But we should be okay. I just kick as much as I can. Once you kill them, go close to the edge. You're going to get put up to this balcony here, uh, which is fine. Uh, I make sure you put your port down because you can get pulled. So I'm going to just cheat you here. Thunder Focus T, kick. Uh, throw an Envelope Mist out, kick again. And here comes the pull in three seconds. If you get go into the blue line, you get knocked. So just be careful. Uh, you do not want to obviously get knocked. Uh, but that's also why I put my port down because mistakes happen. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can port it if you unfortunately, <laughs> you know, get pulled or like knocked into it, which is fine. Uh, I just keep putting my hots out here. I reset my port. I can defuse my, I'm just going to wall this, but I can defuse, uh, I'll kick here. I got one more kick. Spell here. Good. Big hots. I'm going to just crank and belt mist right now, which is fine. And then I can actually, you don't need a target to uh, extend your hots, by the way. So I'm going to port here because I felt like I was about to get pulled into that uh, that line. So I just port there just to be safe. Put some hots out here on everybody. I get double expel harm again, which is just unfortunate. Chi-G here. I'm going to just kick here. And because I hit more than three targets, I get an instant velpy mist. I sweep all the uh, mobs. Throw out a blackout kick. I should get an instant velpy mist here. I do. Dodge the orbs. And... Uh, Dodge these, good. Okay, that I think this is that was the hardest part of the fight. It's pretty much over with. Nothing too insane. Just make sure you stand on the edge so you get blown up here. And then this is the phase where you kind of... I just put hots out here, and then I just do damage because we're just trying to do damage right now. 
you know, during this cast. So I don't know. I actually don't remember where we stack up for this part. Uh, I'm gonna follow the Ray team. This is this is uh, this is. I'm I'm just gonna follow the Ray team. I got my second expel harm here as well. So we're just gonna throw some hots out here. A man is looking damn fine right now. So we are kind of chilling. Uh, Thunder Focus Team Velp Mist to put some hots out, and then I'm just going to or Thunder Focus T kick to reduce the cooldown on our kick. That's a tank mechanic. The little uh, mobs that spawn cannot touch the boss. I'm going to cocoon here. I'm going to rop here so that they can't be hit. I'm going to Chigi. I'm going to kick. I should get an instant Velp Mist. I do. I'm going to throw another tank here. These uh, webs go to the boss so my, my raid team can kill them. And we're just going to kill. We're going to put some hots down. We're going to kick. Put our hots out, renewing mist, and we're gonna use our instant vivifies. A lot of healing. I got thunder focus T here as well. Uh, these are rifts for the last mechanic, so you need to make sure you separate them. This is good. So the rift is gonna spawn. Dodge the orbs. Big healing here. Dodge the orbs. Good. This spawns. You want to run into the rift when the uh, this like line gets close. So boom, we take it. Run into it. That's the mechanic. Nothing crazy at all about it. I feel like Celestial Conduit might be better with this build. I don't know. I'm just going to Revival here and kick. And then we're going to use the Envelope Mist. Dodge the orbs. Thunder Focus T, Envelope Mist. Envelope Mist. Instant Vivify. And then we kick. And then the boss is dead. And that is Heroic Queen Onserok.